Hi guys, so for this video I'm using Simply Soft yarn in two different colors and the crochet hook is size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot. Now we need to chain multiples of 6, so we'll start by chaining 240. After we chain 240, we'll make sure that our chain is not twisted. Then on the last chain from the hook, we'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 1, I'll chain 4. Now right there through that same chain, I'll make 2 treble crochet. So that 4 chain in the beginning of a row, plus these 2 treble crochets, count as 3 treble crochet. Now I'll chain 1. Then through the same chain, I'll make three treble crochet. So now I'll chain 10. Then right here through this last treble crochet chain, right here through these two loops, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll skip the next five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and then through a sixth chain I'll make three treble crochet. Then I'll chain one, then through the same chain I'll make three treble crochet. So now I will chain 10, then right here through his last triple crochet chain, right here through his two loops, I'll make a slip stitch. Again now, I'll skip the next five chains, and through his sixth chain, I'll make three triple crochet. Then I'll chain one, then through the same chain I'll make three treble crochet. I'll chain ten. Then right there through this uh, last treble crochet chain, right here through these two loops, I'll make a slip stitch. So we repeat this throughout row one. Uh, so now to finish row one, right here to his fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. Now for row two, through his next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Through his one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain four. Now right here through his one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Then I'll chain one. Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. So now row two is gonna be different than row one, so just pay attention right about now. And now I'll chain 12. Now right here through his next one chain loop, I'll make three treble crochet. I'll chain one, then through that same one chain loop I'll make three treble crochet. Again now I'll chain twelve. Then right there through that next one chain loop, I'll make three treble crochet. I'll chain one, 
Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Again, I'll chain 12. Then through that next one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. I'll chain one. Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain 12. Then through his next one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain one. Then through the same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain 12. Then through his next one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain one. Then through that same chain, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain 12. Then through his next one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. I'll chain one. Then through the same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain 12. Now to finish row 2, right here through his fourth chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. So now for the pattern, we need to repeat row 2. So here for row 3 as well, we repeat row 2. So through his next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then through his one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain 4. Now, right there through that one chain loop, I'll make two triple crochet. I'll chain one. Then through that same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain 12. Then through his next one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make three triple crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 3. So for that pattern, we need to repeat row 2. Repeat row 2 until your work reaches your desired length. So I repeated row 2 until I had 10 rows in total. Now for row 11, right here through these next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then right here through this one chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. And now the fun part comes. So remember here for row one, where we have made this uh, loop of 10 chains. So right there, we're gonna use this as a, as a stitch. So right here through this loop, we're gonna braid nine of these 12 chains. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six. It's okay. It's okay. Seven. It's all right. Eight. And nine. See? Just like that. And now I'll chain two. Then right here through this loop, I'll make a single crochet. Now I'll chain two. Then through this next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Now I'll chain two again. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing for this row of braids. Do you want me to give this to him? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll take the breadsticks. Can you wash his hands first, please? Oh, come on, Dalton. Baby's going to wash his yeah. hands. Now, right here through this next loop, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain two. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain two again. Then I'll braid the third set of braids. Right here through this next loop, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain two. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain two. Then I'll repeat the same thing for the next braid. Now, right here through this next loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain two. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain two. So I'll repeat the same thing for the rest of our chains until all of our work looks like this for solid braids. To finish row 13, I'll chain two. Then right here through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. One, then I'll cut this yarn. Just weave these ends in and we'll be done. Thirty nine inches wide and uh, Nine inches long. Alright, so you can wrap it up around your neck uh, up to three times. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.